<laughs> oh, worked out good. Should have worn my shirt. Yeah. Say, uh, uncivilized vitality. We're going to talk about uh, uncivilized self protection. Mark should help me today because I needed another person to stand in. And we're going to talk about range or spacing with self defense. So there's kicking, punching, grappling, wrestling. There's all sorts of ways you can defend yourself from physical violence. And one of the first things to understand is uh, the range that you're operating in. And you can read more about this in, here comes the shameless plug, uh, in my martial arts book. Over 1,200 photographs, everything you need to know to study uh, from white to black belt in the Sun Sul style of Hapkido, uh, which is a Korean martial art. Uh, you can Google it, Hapkido. So um, if you're interested in the book, check out the link below. So in there we talk about the ranges. Mark and I are less than, so you have you scoot back a little bit. If Mark, Mark and I are just out in public, and this is how I define it, greater than five feet apart, we call that the public distance. This is where I see Mark in the store and I wave or something. And then within five feet, which is this, so Mark could take uh, one stride toward me, which is one, two steps. One stride is two steps. So if he's within five feet, we call this personal space. So this is a personal space. Mark and I know each other and then we can stand and talk and uh, be in our personal space. Personal space is also, also the danger zone for um, physical confrontation. From here, it wouldn't take much, even with Mark's hands are up. Even with Mark's hands are up, I can reach out and tie up with Mark or strike Mark or kick Mark. So personal space can go to the, the next range real quick, which is intimate space. And the simple definition of this is anytime I'm making contact with Mark, right? Anytime I'm touching or Mark's touching me, right? Now we're in the intimate space range. And this is typically going to happen. Phone always rings while we're videoing. This is typically going to happen in only um, a couple of very specific scenarios. Uh, intimate space, obviously adult relations or, um, you know, you're moving your kid around or something or changing their diaper. If you touch another human being, go into their intimate space, you have to have explicit uh, permission to do so. Anyone, so Mark touches me, he's entered my intimate space without explicit permission. <laughs> you know, I was going to do this. <laughs> then he can twist his wrist and make him pay for that or punch. So intimate space is definite self-defense. If I put hands on Mark, Mark can start defending himself and moving in do some jujitsu or kick or punch me. Intimate space is self-defense. Personal space within five feet, that's high alert. Mark comes up to me at five feet, uh, within five feet, I wanna maybe put my hands up and start figuring out what's going on here. Is he gonna try to um, move in or has he just made a mistake or need something innocent? He's gonna move back to public spacing, a right. Couple things you can do in the personal space just keep your eye uh, on his hands. People always say a bunch of nonsense about what to watch. Watch his shoulders, watch his eyes, watch his feet. He's not gonna do anything with his eyes, shoulders, or feet. His hands are where the danger lie. That's gonna be manipulation of weapons. He's gonna move intimate space, put hands on. He's going to strike um, lots of things that aren't good for me. So you can check out our boxing and jujitsu videos for that. So there's the three spaces. Start to study that, think about that. Leave some comments below. Um, trolls, do, do your trollish worst, I guess. This is entertaining. Public space, personal space, intimate space. Uh, no one has any right to touch you whatsoever without your explicit permission. So any intrusion into your intimate space, self-defense time, self-protection time. Personal space, it's a good idea to go on high alert and figure out what's about to happen. Is Mark just coming in for a hug or is he gonna do something unsavory to me or, or try to do something unsavory to me? Uh, and then public space, we share that with everybody. So that's it. Like, share, subscribe. Do you want to say Rendell's favorite thing? She said, smash the like button. <laughs> smash the like button? Yes, yeah, she's going to love it. <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs>